Hey folks, well, we're in Audacity. This is a DAW you're not accustomed to seeing me use very often, but I'm starting to get a bunch of questions about Audacity. And those of you that are in the group for Steps to VoiceOver Success on Facebook, then I just did a poll. Well, depends on when you're watching this video, right? But I did a poll to show, to ask what DAW you guys are using. So right now, Audacity and Adobe Audition are the top two. So I wanted to do a little tutorial here on something that I think maybe some folks are a little bit confused about in regards to what I call setting up a rack. Um, in Audacity, it's called setting up your, let me just double check here, uh, chain. That's what it is. It's setting up a chain. Same thing. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little recording here. So let me add a track in here. I'm going to add a mono track. And let's do a little recording. Okay, so we're doing a little training on Audacity today to show you how to set up a chain of all of your effects. Okay, so now we've got that set up. Let me go ahead and get rid of that track. Now, what you want to notice here, this is a pretty clean track. Um, you know, so there's not a lot of noise in this at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to treat it like that. Well, nope, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to show you how to set this up. So basically, if you're looking to take out your noise, you want to highlight. And that's why I left a couple of seconds of just dead airspace there. So under the effects, you want to go to noise reduction. And with this, basically, I highlighted that. So I got the noise print. And so we got that there. And then under the effects, we can highlight the whole thing. Under the effects again, we want to go to noise reduction. And basically, we just want to apply that noise reduction. I'm leaving it at the standard settings. You may have to change some of this depending on how much noise you have when you record, depending on your recording space and things of that nature. So we're going to hit that, and that just affected all the changes for noise. As a matter of fact, let me grab this. I'm going to grab this as a noise print. That little bit of noise right there, which I believe is a breath. Actually, let me put my headphones on, and I'll be able to see, or hear rather, exactly what this noise is. Yeah, that's a... That is... Yep, that's a breath. So everything else is basically clean. Uh, what I want to do now is I'm going to highlight the whole track. I'm going to go up to effects. I have a funky little plugin that is amazing from Waves, which is basically a debreather. And where is right there? Debreath mono. And what this does, it's going to take out my breaths. Now I can see I've got a breath here and I've got a breath here. Uh, basically, so if you take a listen to it, all right, and you see all the breaths that are there. All right, so I'm just going to apply this on the default settings for the debreather. You can see it took away. See it took away that breath there. You see it took away that breath there. Exactly. It takes away your breath automatically. Debreath Mono is one of my favorite plugins from Waves. Actually, if you go to steps to voiceover success.com, um, you can get 10% off of any Waves plugin. Just scroll down a little bit. You'll see the Waves logo there and you'll be able to get that. Now, what I want to do is after I've done that, uh, what I want to do is go for a little bit of compression. So I'm going to use the standard compressor that's here within. Uh, audacity and we're just <clears throat> we're just going to leave that like that and I'm going to say okay and you can say you can see what it did it beefed it up a little bit and then what I'm going to do with that as well is I'm going to normalize it back down to I'm going to do negative one for right now so it's normalized to negative one now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of EQ on this as well so let me go to my EQ stuff and I use waves EQs and we'll do just a four a four band EQ on this so we're already rolling off this here but we can probably roll off a little bit more on that and let's see 
put that back to zero, add a little bit on the mid range and add a little bit to the highs. And let's go ahead and apply that. And we're going to go ahead and normalize that one more time. Where's the normalize? It's probably back up. Here. Whoops. Go to the effects and yeah, we got to go back up here. All right, so there's the normalize and we're going to do that to negative one again. Now you can take a listen to what's going on with the audio. All right, so we can go ahead and just, let me just delete some of this audio space right there and get rid of some of that. So you can see everything is kind of nice and fat. It's kind of got a nice presence to it there as well. And so if that's what you were going to do to basically, if that was your chain, you can go ahead now, since you've got some presets set in there, and what we'll do is we'll go to File, Edit Chain. <laughs> 